Hello, Nicholas Andrew here, the Somatic Singer, and today it is time for my third instalment, number three, it's come out so quickly, of this band that I've come to love, actually, called Weird Genius. Now, I've already done Catalyst, I've already done Lathy, so this week it's time for Prince Hussein and Sweet Scar. Now, I know nothing about this song, albeit like 30 seconds that I watched about a month ago, so I consider that nothing. Anyway, I've got nothing more to say than that, so sit back, relax, and we're gonna dive, we're gonna dive straight in. I've come to expect like great things from this band and their videos actually, you know? Because the other two were like were really inventive. This one already looks a bit more cinematic. I can throw away the pieces that you gave. Betray in a way. Often I'm stuck on my way. Nice voice. Here we go. Sound is so familiar to me, you know, from the other two songs. Like that trademark almost. Love it. I will try to latch myself out of your space. Far away until the distance passes its life. Really nice voice. It's a new journey. My heart has said enough for pain. Once really believable, you know? That's what I was thinking. No, I'm away. Hold me not. Give me back my mind. My thoughts that you've taken. Stop me to care. I knew you this part of the video, you know? The lighting compared to the other part. Help me shut you out. She gave me less. Contrast. Not to go. Not to go and die, not to go and die, not to go and die, not to go So good. This is that music. Love that bit. I really, really liked it. I've got to kind of like think about it for a minute though. <laughs> so that track for me really was quite different to the other two that I've reviewed so far. Um, Weird Genius. Um, no, not Weird Genius, you know, Catalyst and Lathy. I always get the names wrong and I don't know why. <laughs> My brain just thought it was gonna be a little bit faster in its tempo, but it wasn't. And I really, really appreciate that. It was a nice surprise. But I'm not gonna lie, you know, my brain was a little bit hesitant to start with because, and I've definitely said this before, that I love big belty singers, I love high notes. And I instinctively knew, if I'm honest, that he wasn't gonna go off and do lots of vocal gymnastics. I could just hear it in his voice. Now, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy that vocal, because I did. You know, his vocal was very smooth, you know, the tone was beautiful. You know, and let's not get it, you know, twisted. He did have some vocal chops there. He flipped up into that falsetto, you know, and that was fairly high in places, you know. That takes some skill. Anyway, what I'm saying is, you know, I really, really enjoyed that. And that kind of voice, let's face it, it's perfect, perfect for that kind of track. 
But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me, and I really, really did. You know, again, something different for this channel, so I will continue to support this band. Um, so <laughs> let me know what you think. Drop me a comment in that section below. And if you would like me to react to your singing, then I also have a Wizzo link down there as well. But anyway, if you don't want to do that, it doesn't matter. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, y'all. So just before I wrap this video up, I just want to talk about the editing. You know, because I've come to love that actually after having this channel. I never thought I would. You know, you've got lighting, how to light things, how to shoot things, the speed, the angles, you know, everything. How to put it all together in post-production with the editing, you know, how you transition things, you know, color grading and all that kind of thing. It's a lot to learn and learning the software itself. But obviously this video, you know, because I've seen them out of um, succession, you know, this one was one of the earlier ones. And it just looks to me that he didn't quite have the budget of the other two, which were more involved, more technical, you know, more advanced. Now, that's not to say I didn't love it. Do you know what I mean? Because it told the story. They just had the black bars for a cinematic kind of look. I love me some of that. You know, but they didn't have the transitions, you know, the whipping in and out, you know, the fast cut editing, you know, the zooming in, you know, close ups, all that kind of thing. It was very much more subdued. But I just want to wrap it up by saying I love, love, love the fact that when she was represented, you know, when she was on screen, it was very light on the beach, you know, very sunny, very bright. And then when he was on, you know, creating a different mood, it was a lot darker, you know, at night anyway, a lot bluer, just all the tones, everything was more subdued. I love that. That kind of thing really adds to the fact that he's talking about, you know, I don't know, her being the light of his life, him being in pain or whatever the story is about. I've got to go back and listen to the words again. But anyway, I love that. I just thought I'd say it. Don't judge me on my editing. I am getting better and I'm going to be bloody brilliant. Just give me a year. Ha, ha, ha.